Shalom. I'll start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rabbachak Wadash. Devon said the elder apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth, who rule well, and as always, peace and salutations to the old free elect tabernacle of David. Now, uh, this lesson comes by inspiration from uh, Elder Apostle Ram Lab's uh, live stream. So you think you're slick, eh? And um, I'm going to say this. We're coming into the season of the Pasak, the Passover. It's a very solemn, very serious time. There's a certain mind frame. And there's a certain um, spirit that we are in going into this particular season. We don't want to be those men who drink of the cup and eat of the bread unworthily. Because once you do that, you find yourself guilty of the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's why the scriptures tell us, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith and basically prove your own self, meaning to test yourself, it really to really see if you really up, uh, if you really with this thing, are you really in the faith, your faith of yours? Because Yahweh Shai is in you. Know you know you not your own selves. How that Yahweh Shai is in you, except you be a reprobate. So, hey, this ain't a game, man. So, you know, I had to, you know, um, you know, do a response because, you know, it's, it's, it sparked it in me, you know, by inspiration, of course. You know, this is uh this is serious business right here, man. All right. And like the elder said, the elder apostle said. You, you cannot out slick the most high, the most high sees everything. I remember the message that Yahweh Shai said to um. The, uh, the church at uh, Ephesus, and you read Revelation, the second chapter, he was pretty much exhorting them and he was telling them, you know, some of the things that he approved of them. You know, he said that, you know, he knew their labor, their patience, and so on and so forth. But he had some against them because they left their first love. And he said, remember from, re remember from whence you are fallen and repent and do the first works or else... He will come quickly and remove the candlestick out of their place, except they repent. And that's the, the same um, sentiment I feel in, in the, the message coming from the apostle. Brothers that, you know, this apply to, hey, just repent, man. And that goes for myself. If I'm slacking, man, I, I know I got to do better. And we can always do better. We can always do more. Because the Lord does not like a slothful servant, man. Or the Lord, you know, he called laborers to this work. He told his disciples, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. So we got plenty of work to do, man. All right. So let's uh, real quick. Let's go to uh, Isaiah because. You know, you might think that. You know, you, 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 you might think that you clever. You know, just sitting back because, you know, you might be a part of a big camp. It's a lot of brothers and, and brothers. You got the brothers that stand out that's, you know, constantly doing the work. And you just figure, well, I'm going to just, you know, phase along to the, you know, fizzle off to the back and just chill and, and, and kick my feet up. You know, like Jake be at the job and they be in the back, you know, where nobody really be at and they just be back there chilling as if. You know the, the 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 cameras, the hidden cameras in in the you know in the roof, in the ceiling, ain't catching you, as if the CEO or or the the, the managers don't see you on the damn uh, screen. The Most High sees it, man. So let me get uh, Isaiah five and twenty one. And I, matter of fact, I'm gonna read it in the, in the NIV translation. Are we talking about the king of the universe? His eyes are in every place, man. He don't miss nothing. Isaiah uh, 5 and 21 in the NIV, it says, Woe to those who are wise 
in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. And that's, you know, those who think that they slick. <laughs> All right. You, you're not you're not that slick, especially not in the eyes of the most high. All right, this is the supplanter maker. He made Jacob the supplanter. He put that characteristic in the Jacob. All right. So you can't out supplant the 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 the, 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 <laughs> the supplanter creator. Okay. Woe to those that are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. All right. I, I wouldn't play with Mosai. I, I wouldn't do that. That's bad for your health. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right. He called you into this thing with a holy calling. Shalakia, he called us into this thing with a holy calling. You see? So we, we definitely got to, you know, glorify the Lord in our bodies, man. Just like Yahweh Shai glorified the Mosai in his body, he did the works. And he made sure he did it until the end. Let's get a, was it John? Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, John 4 and 34 says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. All right, and, and as long as you're able body, as long as you're still here, as long as you know, the Lord giving you your daily bread day to day. You can definitely work. You can definitely, you know, <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. And like Yahweh Shai also said in that parable, you know, what we're doing is something that we're supposed to do. We, we're we all to say that we're um, unprofitable servants. Or it is our duty to do the things that, you know, which is our duty to do. And we owe that to the Lord. All right. He said the days will come when no man shall work. And you don't want to be you don't want to be caught up. All right. Verse 35. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. They're ready to be gathered, man. So what you waiting on? So let's go from there. Let's go to uh, Proverbs 26. Because like Jake, you know, I I've seen it with my own eyes. With Jake on the job, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll think that they're real slick. And they'll try to, you know... They'll try to be idle on the, while the clock is ticking. While they're on the clock, you know, they'll go behind a, you know, like if you work warehouse or something like that, you know, Jake will try to go behind a, uh, in the back of a truck. And, and, you know, because, you know, you don't have supervisors lurking back and forth in the cut like that, Jake will go right in the back and just, just start chilling. You know, put, plug their earphones in, get on a phone. And I've seen dudes get caught like that too. They'll walk you right off the right off the premise, because because now you're still in you're still in uh, money. This is uh, Proverbs twenty six and verse um. Yeah, Proverbs twenty six and sixteen. It says. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. You know, this this lazy individual, he thinks that he's more clever and wise than men of counsel. <laughs> you know, that's what this is saying. Seven men of, that can render a reason. You don't want to you don't want to be that that example, man. 
That's why going back to what I just read in Isaiah 5, woe, woe, the Lord said, woe to that man, woe to him who are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. Now, the Lord sees you, man. And I'm just adding to the elder apostle, Aram Lab, you know, this is, you know, right on time because, you know, we're in a serious time right now. Prophecies are speaking. You know, we're in the time of the, uh, the, the Passover. It's a very critical time, man. Let's go to uh, Sirach 17. Verse um, 14, it says, <clears throat> And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. That's everything. You got to be on your best behavior even when brothers are not in your presence, man. Not just when, you know, brothers are around. Be on point even when 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 brothers aren't around, man. Because that's, that's what uh, the Apostle Paul called eye service. And that's not genuine at all. We got to be, uh, we when we do this thing, we do it heartily to the most high and not to men. All right, uh, verse um, 19, it says, Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. All right, every everything is there, man. All right. So, you know, we got to depart from from the evil. OK, matter of fact, let me, let me go back to uh, Isaiah. Actually, no, let me go to Proverbs three. Yeah, Proverbs three and seven. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. The apostle kept saying, you know, Brothers ain't fearing the Lord, man. I'll do this because I'll, I'll fear the Lord, man. I know what he what, what he's capable of. And, you know, some of us brothers have been in for, for a minute now. We've seen examples of dudes who didn't fear, who stopped, who stopped doing the work. And, uh, you know, next thing you know, we hear some some bad shit, man, that actually, uh, you know, put you in fear. It says, be not wise in thine own eyes. Don't think that you, you're you clever, that you slick like that. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. All right? A prudent man, will he will depart from evil. But a, but a, but a, a, a man that's uh, reckless, you know, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna plunge your head with, with, with uh, reckless confidence, man. He won't even be considerate. All right. And this in and being idle, it tells you in let me go to this scripture. Being idle, it actually teaches you evil. Let's go to Sirach 33 real quick. Hey, just like you know, when 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 women get bored. And you know they're not doing any tasks. They're not. They're not doing anything. They got all that free time, and that's where all the the fuckery comes in. You know the the, the drama, the gossip, or you know they even take it a step further. A lot of these chicks that be uh, sleeping around is because they're idle. They got free time. They can you know they got time to be on social media and you know look up. You know certain shit, or or get in contact with certain dudes. It's easy for you to get into some shit when you ain't got nothing to do. All right, this is us. Uh, so rock thirty three. Yeah, so rock thirty three, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse twenty five. It says, "If thou set thy servant to labor." And we're and we're servants of of Yahushai, and he he set us to labor, right? It says, "Thou shalt find rest." 
But if thou let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. You, you let you, you let him to himself, and you know you ain't giving him no no work. Guess what he gonna do? He gonna get comfortable. See, he he gonna start uh, bullshitting. It says a yoke and a collar do bow the neck. So are tortures and torments for an evil servant. And if you know you being that evil servant and not doing what you're supposed to do. The Lord said, "You gonna it's gonna be weeping and welling and gnashing of teeth. You gonna you gonna get you gonna get tormented in 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 that in that fire, man. All right, he gonna cut you asunder with with the unbelievers and in the hypocrites. It says, send him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil." So going back to Proverbs 3, be not wise in thine, in thine own eyes and fear the Lord and depart from evil. Okay, we, we, we got a job to do. And this, hey, this applies to myself too, man. Woe to me if, if, I, if I do not this work, if I preach not the gospel like Paul said. All right. Any brothers that slacking, hey. You know, send up those prayers that the Lord increase you and give you the strength and, and give you extra portion of the spirit to, to be on fire and, and, and to do, you know, a better job. Let me get uh, one more scripture. Let's go to um Jeremiah 48. And it says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. All right, this is what the Lord said. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Now, let's, uh, when you look up that word deceitful, it means to basically do it, you know, like with a, with a, with a, with a, with a slack hand. And it's from the uh, Hebrew, Ramay, Ramayach. It's like your Ramayah. All right. And it says, laxness, slackness, slackening, deceit, treachery. All right. Remiss, remissness, treachery, deceitful. All right. Doing it with a false hand. You see? We're supposed to, you know, be diligent. When it says study to show thyself approved unto the most high, the word for study means uh, to be diligent. Look it up in the Greek. The opposite of that is slackness. So there's just a response, man. And, you know, the spirit was on me to, you know, this video inspired me to do this lesson, man. And, you know, I hope that, um, you know, you know, I hope that we all, you know, can, you know, the, the most I has mercy and that, you know, we all, you know, get that spark to, 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 you know, make it to the finish line, man. And we don't want to be castaways. We don't want to be, uh, reprobates. Cause he don't need, he don't need us, man. He said he 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 know he knows our works. If you if 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 you are uh, lukewarm, he he gonna spew you out of his mouth. He rather that you be hot or cold. So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone for being those examples, and uh, peace and blessings to the tabernacle of David, the old for elect. Shallow one.